Welcome to uh, VTV E section uh, program. Uh, dear student, we will continue the okay, continuation of uh, okay. uh, last class uh, we have studied uh, uh, this vermicomposting detail and how to smaller scale and larger scale. Now we come to uh, the sanitary landfilling. We all know collection, collection of the waste over source from the source we are collecting the waste and transporting final disposal. See in India 165 pa crore population minimum 300 gram per person okay it may be uh, depend upon the uh, lifestyle of the uh, people about 165 crores population India at least 300 grams minimum 300 grams into 165 how much tons of waste where to uh, dispose it where is the space per day uh, lakhs lakhs of tons okay waste is uh, coming from uh, every residential commercial institutional industrial and lot of uh, waste is coming okay uh, coming from uh, okay uh, all the uh, areas how where to dispose this is a major problem for government we have to keep uh, this one hygienic Okay, but our country has to be hygienic and for that we have to proper manage of sanitary landfilling is very very important. Okay, sanitary landfilling, okay, most uh, economical, environmental, acceptable method for disposal of the solid waste. It is nothing but we have, we need a space for disposing the solid waste. That is the landfilling, okay sanitary landfilling this is the landfilling okay uh, environmental uh, acceptable method okay of disposal okay this is the sanitary landfilling we all know i will show the sanitary landfilling how it is okay it need a large space in uh, uh, metropolitan city we do not get uh, we do not get the large spaces we have to go far away okay this is the process this is one of the difficulty while selecting the site uh, uh, i will explain this okay landfilling is a major problem nowadays okay we won't get the space uh, see for uh, in um, see 165 cross population uh, at least 300 gram per person uh, okay they will throw the waste okay that means how much waste okay we have to find uh, uh, proper sanitary landfill that is the challenge for us okay this uh, landfilling selection okay how to manage the landfill okay all will object nearby residents will object we do not want uh, landfilling here airport is there or anywhere school is there this all this is the challenging uh, this one for the all the uh, all the country okay all country are facing this challenging process to how to manage this landfill and this one okay this is uh, disposing of uh, waste landfill see here this is a modern landfill see large area this you can see the large area in this okay large area large uh, trucks will come dispose this is a waste okay they will dump the waste layer by layer waste okay they will put the waste okay then they will uh, upon that they will put the mud okay uh, soils okay soils and they will cover it and they will okay roll it in a roller or uh, anything then they will cover the waste they will roll it okay and then they uh, same way this is the land filling okay this is the land filling day by day they have to fill and roll fill and roll fill and roll okay it will uh, take uh, we need a large area for the landfilling okay large area modern this is the i will take a modern landfilling not a old type this is a new type modern landfilling large area is needed for the landfilling they will fill it and cover it with the soil okay they will fill it and cover it with the soil okay and uh, they will fill it cover it with the soil same way they will come a till top they will uh, cover it cover it and uh, roll it okay 
after many years this can be used to stop portion for the land you can see it. it can be used for making the park okay any weight should not follow it okay heavy weight park or anything all a ground uh, or anything they will make it as a, in a modern uh, this one land feeding it may be garden it may be park or growing the crops small crops or anything this is used after filling this one all compacted is done after so many years it can be used for further this one land filling process okay further uh, this one park or anything this this is the process modern land filling okay you understood now they will dump the waste layer by layer they will put the soil and compact put the soil compact same way they will do final compaction is done up to the this one and this is the sectional view of the modern land filling okay modern land filling see there are three types of uh, land fillings one is uh, area method okay another one is the trench method of land filling another one is canoin method okay three types of uh, land filling area method it is a large area see one area they will okay put the waste okay waste and roll area they will take this area okay full area they will uh, put the waste okay and uh, they will compact compacted solid waste and they will put the soil and compact okay this rolling is done okay soil compaction okay daily daily earth cover okay compacted solid waste original ground and same bulldozer bulldozer is there it will roll okay final earth mover okay waste collection trucks this is the one of the area method a large area okay they will fill the waste and uh, they will roll it okay this is the process of area method okay and another method is the trench method okay trench method you can see another method trench method okay trench method they will make the trench put the waste to the trench one trench cover okay second trench they will put the waste layer by layer compacting with the soil okay and same way trench method same as the full area method they will use trench by trench okay they will cover the waste and fill the soil and compact and fill the soil and compact same way they are waste collection by the truck bulldozer rolling is done okay and uh, this also this is the trench how the trench is uh, done okay this is the process of another method okay area first method large area we are using this area method in nowadays nowadays uh, everywhere area method they will take large area they will okay put the waste and okay if area is not uh, done uh, area is not available trench method also a small okay trench method also we are using the trench method okay this is very difficult one of the very difficult uh, to get the land okay in city we it is very difficult to get the land okay this is very very important okay so we are this is the method two method another method is there this one canon method or depression method okay where there is in a forest area or there is we will uh, uh, there is a quarry earth quarry okay there is a big uh, hole or uh, big uh, depression like canon or uh, anything stones are taken okay that area we fill the uh, waste okay we are not uh, this one, this is not a proper way but also we fill the waste in a forest any area where there is a deep uh, area or stone taken area from the quarries sand and this is the process of a canon method three type okay one is area method this is the area method original ground compacted soil uh, daily earth cover operated okay this is the waste uh, this one this is another one trench making the trench in this 
okay, making the trench. This is the method, okay. And the one, this uh, method, okay, uh, canine or uh, depression method. It is inside a forest. I already told. Then you say a whole like a structure or uh, another. Uh, this one, uh, uh, which is uh, quarry stones are taken, big holes, okay, big uh, deep area, okay, any depression area or anything. We will throw that. This is a uh, illegal process. When the rain comes, it may come down from the hilly area or a forest area. It will come down. It is not a good process. But uh, these two are the. We are using these two process in a daily uh, this one area where there is a area large area available. These two process are okay advisable. This is a good process. Trench, trench and uh, this one. Okay, these are the three process of uh, land filling. You understood what is land filling? It is a disposal of waste. Okay, we are transporting the waste. Uh, we are uh, collecting the waste from the source. We are transporting. We have to dispose that. We cannot keep anywhere. We have to, in this process, this canon method, and landfill method, uh, this area method, and trench method are used. Okay. Yes. This is the waste. Uh, this uh, is the sanitary cross section uh, by the area method. We will uh, have some of the definition. We have. We have to. I have to explain what it. Uh, what is cell? What is daily cover? Okay, what intermediate cover, landfill liner system, cell width, okay, final cover, okay, uh, lift, what is lift, what is cell, this all one by one I will uh, explain one by one. This is this is the uh, okay daily, daily cover, it may be trench, okay, area method, full area they will take and this way they will fill, uh, they will make the trench and they will fill another method. Okay, the same way. This is this are uh, this uh, we have to know about uh, this one. What is cell? What is final cover? What is leachate? What is the gas moment? And uh, all this, uh, so many. This is our definitions. Okay, I will one by one. I will explain the definitions. Okay, first on landfill. Okay, uh, are the physical facilities used to disposal? Of the residual solid waste in the surface soil of the earth is called landfills. What is landfill? Are the physical facilities, okay, used for disposal of residual solid waste in the surface of the earth. Sa sanitary landfill. Second one. What is sanitary de definition of sanitary landfill? Sanitary landfill is the same as the this one. This is a modern technology, modern engineering landfill, uh, where the waste is allowed to decompose into biological and chemical inert materials in setting isolated from the environment. Very important. We are using the sanitary landfilling nowadays. Modern technology. Okay, sanitary landfilling is the modern engineering landfill. Where waste is allowed to decompose into biological and chemical inert material in a setting isolated from the environment. This is the sanitary landfill. Okay, landfill is different. Uh, landfill surface of the earth to cover uh, this one soil and uh, okay, this is a facility used to dispose residual solid waste in the surface of the soil of the earth. Sanitary landfill is very very important modern engineering technology. Landfill were allowed to decompose into biological and chemical inert material in the setting isolated from the environment. Okay. Next one, next definition of uh, landfilling activity is the process by which residual solid waste is placed in a landfill and it including monitoring incoming waste streams placement and compaction of the waste and installation of landfill environmentally monitoring and controlling facilities. These are a very, very important landfill activity is the process which residual solid waste is placed in a landfill including monitoring, okay, monitoring, okay, 
incoming waste stream placement okay, and compaction of the waste and installation of landfill, environmental monitoring and control facilities. This is the landfill activity is very important. Landfill activity is okay, the it is a process by residue the waste including monitoring the incoming waste or well, the waste is incoming that you have to monitor how to place that waste that is also another uh, in a landfill activity and compaction of the waste how to compact the waste this is also one of the important and installation of the landfill environment monitoring this is also important and controlling facility these are the landfill activities okay these are the landfill activities now we go for uh, this one uh, next uh, process okay next process of uh, activities okay next we go for cell what i showed i will show the drawing of this one what is cell okay see cell this is cell okay you can see the cell here what is that i will explain one by one Okay, what is cell? It is very important. It is used to describe the volume of the material placed in a landfill during one operating. Okay, during one operating period, one day. Okay, it is used to describe the volume of material placed in a landfill during one operating placed in landfill during one operating period, usually one day. One day, uh, how much volume of material is placed in a landfill? one day okay in one day how much waste is uh, filled in the landfill okay that is uh, it includes solid waste deposited and also daily cover material surrounding it okay it include the solid waste deposited and also the daily cover material surrounding it this is the cell okay already shown in the drawing in that okay next daily cover very important of the cell okay cell usually consists of uh, uh, native soils or alternative uh, materials such as uh, compost that applied to working phases of the landfill and of the each operating period okay daily cover daily cover are usually consists of uh, alternative materials such as uh, uh, compost that are applied in a working phases landfill that end of the each operator the soil we are using the soil cover okay that is compacted okay uh, compact uh, that uh, okay this uh, this is the process of uh, uh, alternative material applied to the working phases landfill each operating okay another one is the lift okay lift the daily cover over it may be soil it may be anything it is covered after the mm, so this one after the dumping the waste okay it is covered daily covered okay it may it, it mainly we are using the soil alternative material soil they will cover and uh, they are uh, the, they are rolled okay with the roller or bulldozer and daily cover lift the complete layer of the cell over the active area of the landfill typically landfill are compromised of series of lift okay compressed okay sorry uh, compressed of uh, series of lift sorry uh, is the complete layer of the cell over the active area of the landfill typically uh, landfill are compressed of series of lift okay well, i show the lift what is lift okay series of it is compressed series of lift okay here uh, you can see the lift okay this is the lift okay here you can see the lift okay the final lift okay one lift second lift and final lift okay a series of lifts okay series of lift okay cell over a daily cover over lift is the okay compressed of series of okay okay this is a lift next one we go for uh, bench okay bench it is a commonly used by the height of the landfill is exceeds uh, 50 to 75 feet 
bench is used to maintain the slope stability of the landfill okay very important if landfill height increased 50 to 75 feet above bench are used to maintain the slope stability of the landfill very important if it reaches 50 to 75 feet okay to maintain the slope these benches are used for the placement of surface water drainage channel and for the location of landfill gases recovery pipe these benches are very important okay if it is a landfill height okay fill will exceed 50 to 75 feet benches are used to maintain the slope stability of the landfill for the placement of surface water drainage channel and for the location of landfill recovery pipes this is the bench okay cell over lift over bench over then we go for okay many definitions are there final cover it is the entire landfill surface landfilling is finished operation is complete then it is usually kind of multiple layer of soil or geo membrane material design and then the surface drainage okay intercept okay uh, pre cloating drainage okay uh, intercept pre cloating water okay and uh, surface uh, uh, vegetation okay final cover it is nothing but after finishing of all filling the waste okay final cover is done it applied with the okay applied with the complete applied with the soil okay soil and uh, they will apply with the soil okay soil usually consists of multiple layer of soil or geo membrane material maybe we are uh, uh, many country uh, they are using the soil they may be used for geo membrane material it should not come out okay gas or uh, this one okay in the water and surface vegetation and they will grow the vegetation or they will make the park or anything already i told final after the final cover they after some year uh, after uh, all compaction they will grow the okay uh, vegetation crops or uh, park they will do or it may be any ground or anything leachate all you know is the very this one leachate liquid that is uh, sweep okay from the waste due to the heat okay if it uh, join to aquifer or uh, ground water okay it is very very uh, risky factor if it uh, uh, contaminate the ground water or aquifer it is a very very difficult for drinking contaminated water by the leachate proper leachate control should be done in a landfill very very important okay uh, the, the inside that uh, reaction will take place some water will uh, weep out that is the leachate okay uh, leachate uh, inside the dump yard uh, due to heat and chemical reaction some water will uh, leach and uh, in a rainy season it will mixed with the uh, rain water and moves to the surface water and uh, cover the this one this is a very very dangerous uh, toxic uh, this one if it goes to aquifer this liquid moves to the aquifer or uh, uh, ground water uh, this one it is very uh, difficult to drink the okay drinking water uh, uh, it will be contaminated so proper control of leachate is done then landfill gases okay you all know after uh, dumping the waste uh, we are compacting inside air will not pass okay if it air is won't pass then there is a methane and carbon dioxide very very important methane and carbon dioxide if air is not the anaerobic this methane and carbon dioxide will uh, will play important role okay this is the important from the within the landfill bulk landfill gas consists of methane and carbon dioxide the principal product of anaerobic decomposition biodegradable organic fractions of msw landfill okay landfill gases this is about the landfill gas we will study later this leachate how to control the leachate how to control the landfill gas 
everything we will study later. Okay. Landfill liner, this is also very important, liner is used below after a landfill place is uh, uh, constructed or uh, we will put the clay and liner, okay. geo membrane liner or compacted clay, see compacted clay or geo membrane liner, the leaches should not pass from down, it should not move to aquifer or it uh, should not contact uh, with the ground. Okay, there is a very, very important landfill liner. Okay, in the site liner use consists of layer of compacted clay. Okay, I will show the layers, compacted clay and geomembrane material design prevent the migration of landfill gas and leach it to, okay, it goes to the ground. Okay, it may move to this leach it moves to the uh, ground water or aquifer then it, uh, our drinking water will, will be contaminated or uh, this gas, methane gas, if it moves to the, uh, this one, okay, moves to the uh, uh, atmosphere, the air will be polluted. This is also a problem, it catches the fire. To this, we have to maintain this one, okay. Uh, landfill uh, liner, this is very important, okay. Landfill control facilities, okay, control, uh, include liners, we are, you should use the liner and uh, leachate collection, extraction system, okay, landfill connection system, okay, daily cover, final cover, this all the very important, uh, we have to control the gas, we have to control the leachate, okay, collection of the leachate, one tank is made for the collection of the leachate and we have to uh, extract the system landfill collection system. This is very, very important landfill uh, control facilities include liner using the liner, landfill leachate collection pond we have to and facility how the moment of the uh, this one, okay, extraction system, landfill gas and uh, extraction of systems and daily and final cover layer, okay. This is the landfill control system, okay. This, this is all very, very important landfill uh, is a very important uh, point in uh, the solid waste because uh, it contain leachate. If it moves to the liquid or uh, drinking water or uh, surface water, it is very, very difficult, okay. And uh, it uh, water will be contaminated totally. We have to drink that contaminated water. We have to properly manage leachate. And gas also, this is very methane gas, you all know that is a catches fire, it moves to the atmosphere, total atmosphere will be polluted, okay. These are the very important point. Landfill closure, okay, a landfill closure, uh, complete landfill typically 30 to 50 year, okay. The term used describes step must be taken close or secured landfill site once filling operation been completed, post closure care. Uh, refer to activity associated with the long term monitoring and maintain a completed landfill difficult 30. After uh, filling all the landfill, it is closed. We have to maintain this, okay, compact difficult load 30 to 50 year, okay. Uh, if anyone uh, may use that land for uh, if the uh, construction of the buildings or it should not be allowed uh, 30 to 50 year, then they will do the garden or they will do the park or it may be ground, it may be done, landfill closer, this should be done, okay. Very important, they have to maintain, okay, this after the filling of the landfill closer. Advantage of a sanitary landfilling, very important, what is the advantage of sanitary landfilling? If sanitary landfilling is not there, if it is not there, very difficult. If you throw the waste in a forest or anything in the rainy season, it will come to the areas of the cities or anything. That is very difficult. The city will be not hygienic and it is very difficult to manage. So, there are many advantages of sanitary landfill. Main advantage that burying can be produced okay, uh, energy and obtained by the conversion of landfill. This is uh, very important from this we can produce the energy. I will tell the detail about it. We can produce the energy 
okay, and uh, gases in uh, major uh, countries they are using for uh, they are not using the compost for uh, they are uh, producing the energy from the waste. Okay, they won't manufacture compost or anything. They will produce the energy. There is a big uh, uh, this one. Okay, machineries. Okay, they will put the waste. They will burn the waste with the high temperature. Okay, then steam will be developed. Turbine will run. Okay, gas will be produced. Turbine is running uh, runs uh, to produce the power. Okay, produce the energy in some countries and gases will be produced. Okay, gases will be produced. This this is the one of the major advantage nowadays. Methane gas. We will get the cooking methane gas from this landfill and uh, this one methane gas and okay energy power from this. This major uh, uh, some countries are doing this one. Uh, large quantity of waste they will make the power and this one. Okay. The waste product of sanitary landfill can be used directly for combustion or indirectly can be used processed uh, into another fuel. Okay. Waste product of sanitary fuel can be used directly direct fuel for combustion or indirect they can be processed into another fuel. This is also second advantage. Okay, uh, the waste product from sanitary landfill can be used directly fuel for combustion or indirectly can proceeding into another fuel. Okay, this is the second advantage. Okay, third advantage is sanitary landfill is uh, specific location for the waste deposition can be monitored. It can be easily monitored. Very important it can be easily monitored. First one it can be produced energy and gas, it can be used for fuel for the combustion, it can be easily monitored, very important, it can be easily monitored. So, sanitary this is a, a good advantage for this. Okay. On completion of sanitary landfill, it can be reclaimed and it can be used as a park or farming land very important park or farming land. Okay. After the completion of the landfill, after so many years, compacts everything is done, okay, proper maintenance done, then we can use this as a park or vegetation. Okay. For the vegetation purpose, it can be done. Okay. This is the one of the advantage of uh, sanitary landfill. In proper design of sanitary landfill waste can be processed. All recyclable material can be used before closing. Okay, very important. Okay, recyclable. See, before of putting to the landfill, okay, dumping to the landfill, we can separate the waste, some of the waste, recyclable material. Okay, it may be scrap, it may be, okay, the uh, glasses, it may be a paper, it may be any example, it can be used for recyclable material for before closing. Okay. Then organic material can be separated from properly designed sanitary landfill which can be used for compost or production of the natural gas. So, this is also very important, okay, production of compost. See, uh, organic material can be separated from the proper design sanitary landfill which can be used for compost. If you separate organic food waste in a, a nowadays we are separating the food waste all in a household or residential they will keep our, all the food waste separately okay? and uh, this one separate two this one bins are used or okay? uh, they are separately food waste go while uh, taking by the municipality people, they will take food waste separately and other waste separately. This can be used for pr production of compost already, vermicompost or production of natural gas can be used. Production of compost and production of a natural gas can be used. Okay. This is also one of the advantage. Sanitary landfill can be uh, that are properly managed can capture natural gases, methane that produce undergo decomposition material. 
this is also very advantage if it properly manage okay we can get methane which can be used for domestic production of undergo decomposition material it can be used for okay domestic purpose if it properly this is the one of the advantage now we go for the disadvantage of uh, sanitary landfilling okay one uh, all the advantage more advantage in the sanitary landfilling some of the disadvantages also there okay sanitary landfill is pro, uh, poorly designed if we are poorly designed or operator share more problem that are faced uncontrolled dumping areas if it is properly uh, if it is not properly managed okay poor design okay there is a difficult okay gases will move to the atmosphere leaches move to the aquifers and water or a water table and uh, all contaminated water become contaminated and uh, gases uh, this this also become atmosphere become contaminated the area surrounding the landfill become heavily polluted if you are properly uh, did not manage properly the area surrounding landfill become heavily polluted okay landfill can be pollute air water also soil very important if it properly uh, did not manage uh, this one it may can pollute the air it may pollute the water also it can pollute the soil this is a very important landfill can pollute the air landfill can pollute the water landfill also pollute the soil okay soil pollution take place air pollution take place water pollution take place okay if it uh, uh, if it did not uh, manage properly this is very very important this is the threat okay it pollute the air it pollute the water and also soil this is a very very uh, difficult to manage okay you have to manage properly this landfill otherwise it pollute air water and soil in poorly developed landfill it difficult to keep the dangerous chemical from the leaching out from the surrounding area dangerous chemicals in the landfill it moves to the surrounding area this is one of the important factor it contain chemicals we are using the chemicals in houses or anything we will dump to the dump yard okay uh, in the dump yard that chemicals which moves to the surrounding area when there is a rainy season if it properly uh, poorly developed rainy season or any water moves there it will come out to the surrounding area this is the disadvantage of uh, landfill okay another one dangerous chemical seep into the ground water system leachate not only leachates dangerous chemicals dangerous chemicals can also seep into the ground water system okay ground water system very important dangerous okay uh, chemicals uh, that inside the this one so many chemicals so many reaction take place inside the dump yard because uh, all the different types of waste we are dumping in the dump yard okay so many chemicals and uh, so many uh, their reaction take place if it comes to the if it seep in into the ground water or aquifer then water become contaminated water become toxic okay and this one very important many insects rodents rats and uh, attract the landfill dangerous causes dangerous diseases okay uh, there is lot of diseases uh, from this uh, rats okay this uh, rats and flies house flies and uh, insects causes uh, Uh, dangerous diseases by the insects and uh, this is also one of the disadvantage advantage of uh, insects okay many insects and rodents are attracted uh, this landfill they will get the food there is organic uh, food materials in that it can be eat uh, it can, they can eat that result dangerous diseases okay it can causes diseases illness in community around the landfill so they are all objecting this okay it can causes diseases and illness in the communities living around the landfill okay 
communities around the landfill this is also they will object so because of that no one will ready to give the land for the landfilling okay it causes diseases because chemicals in the this one and that moves to chemicals in the landfill during the rainy season or it moves to the surrounding area okay it causes diseases and leachate movement to the water so all are objecting uh, to give the landfill public will object okay this is uh, about the disadvantage i already given lot of advantage in the landfill uh, this one site lot of uh, so many disadvantage if properly manage lot of advantage in the landfill if uh, we did not manage it uh, properly lot of disadvantage major disadvantage is there by this okay this is a very important next one site selection method of uh, uh, this one site selection method of landfill okay very important as a engineer or anything uh, or it may be district collector or anything they are they have the challenging role in the site selection getting the land is one of the site challenging role for the them because uh, no one will give the land all will object to give the land and uh, it's very difficult to get the land okay now the land should be volume of the land should be sufficient enough landfill capacity it can be used for several uh, uh, several years okay 10 20 year more than that we, what we selecting land okay should be sufficient enough to provide the capacity so that projected need can be fulfilled several year it may be 10 year or 20 year okay landfill okay area volume should be sufficient enough to provide landfill capacity okay small land is rejected okay it should be used for several year minimum 10 year okay landfill should be used okay that's the type of land is required land area is required why is selecting okay this is the one of the very important uh, the point to be remember while selecting the land first one land should be bigger size it should be used for more than 10 years that type of land small land is rejected okay while selecting landfill site should not be location whether suitable buffer zone between landfill site population are not available okay very important <coughs> very important okay there should not be the buffer zone between landfill site and population not available there should be more population near that okay area uh, location where suitable buffer zone between landfill site and population are not available okay this is another factor okay landfill site okay next one okay there should be should not be how the slope okay slope while selecting the land it should not be slope area if it is slope area okay if it is slope area okay the uh, waste will when the rainy season waste most to the city or any uh, neighboring uh, areas okay if it is slope area that site should be rejected okay they should not be selected if it is slope area it is also rejected okay we have to say plain area the water level in the ground water table should be sufficient below the base of the excavation enable to landfill development very very important okay slope area rejected uh, area should be large okay area should be large uh, more than 10 year it can be used okay uh, steep area it should not be steep area uh, the population should be less in that area okay water level of the ground table is uh, should be deep okay uh, and the leachate should not uh, come down uh, easily it should not come down to this one okay and this is the uh, the fourth point very important why selection of uh, this one 
okay thank you